What, Samuel? No use. The radio's too loud to hear my voice. Yes! If only I could contact the switchboard. Samuel must have left one of his music mags around here. Maybe one of them has a telephone number. The Groovin' FM switchboard number is on the advert. Groovin' FM, hello. Who's speaking, please? Um, I'd rather remain anonymous. I'd like to dedicate a song to one of my friends. I'm listening. Give Up the Funk by RX Express. No problem. Any message to add? Yes. Samuel, open the student centre door, please. Great message. We'll broadcast it right away. Keep grooving with Groovin' FM. Bye for now. And now, a shout going out to Samuel from a mystery listener. One of the hippest tracks of the groove scene, Give Up the Funk by RX Express. And this totally groove dedication, Samuel, open the student centre door, please. Sorry about the door. No worries, I understand. Everyone needs to shut themselves up from time to time. I came to say that Jade wants to talk to us. I've managed to tell everyone, but I can't find Miguel. This time of night? He's out in cyberspace on a forum. I need to find him in the real world. Trouble is, he could be anywhere. He surfs on his laptop, see? The easiest thing is to go online on the student centre computer, find the virtual Miguel, and ask him where the real Miguel is. Okay... But the World Wide Web's pretty worldwide, and I haven't got 80 days. I know the address of the chat room he uses. This 19th century poetry forum. Hip, eh? Only trouble is, I don't know the computer password. I knew there'd be a hitch. Well, who knows the password? The village antique dealer, Mr Oldmaster. You're joking! Not at all. I've seen him replaying the classroom computers. He takes care of the academy network in his spare time. Antiques and IT. Now I've seen it all. Today. Long time no see. Looks like you've learned some manners recently. What are you looking for this time? A game of happy families, a skipping rope. If it's video games you're after, you've come knocking at the wrong door. Very funny. I need the password for the student centre computer. But you know it already, my dear. Listen, I know what I know. And if I'm asking for the password, it's because I don't know it. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to read your mind, and this will help you guess. What? Listen, I haven't got time for fun and games. You'll be surprised. 
See that thing on the table? That machine can read your mind. Okay, I'll play along. But when you're cloaked in ridicule, you'll be forced to tell me the password. See, you were thinking of the letters all along. H O R S E. The password is horse. I told you you knew it. I don't know how you did that, but I hope it wasn't a wind-up. Young lady, an ocean liner sighs the waves but sinks like a stone. You should learn to lighten up, trust people more. I'll try to bear that in mind. Okay, we've all had fun, we've had a good rest, but just because you're in an academy doesn't make you good riders. I have to warn you, the Australian Academy were meant to send their B team, instead they're sending their A team. A team are national level, if we lose, the future of the academy is in jeopardy. Obviously you realise our financial situation is dependent on results. What's more, we need good press to keep the school alive. So I'd be grateful if you treat this event with utmost seriousness. I want you to double the work rate and prepare yourself as for a major competition. Right. What are you waiting for? The big day had arrived. We finally learned what major stress was and how to manage it. Our future hung in the balance. For the adventure to continue, we had to win.